Um, but yeah, when I saw your, your post, it kind of jumped out at me because I, I like that you're not just a band that's like expecting things to come to you. Like you're, mm. you're building a community by uh, uh, reaching out to other bands and saying, you know, reach out to me. We, we're doing the blog. I want to write about you too. Mm. Uh, and given, you know, the vision that I have for the studio here, I was like, I got to talk to this person. This sounds yeah. perfectly aligned with what we're doing here. So I was excited to talk to you. Yeah, that I mean, you have it exactly right. That's that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, one one of the other things is like you know we can't really go out and play live shows, obviously. So, right. um, yeah, one of the main things is like you know connecting with other bands, and also you know as we, um, you know, once the pandemic lets up and we're able to like go out and play live, you know, our goal is that once we ha- you know we'll have all of these local bands um, on our page. And if people find us, they also find them. Right. Um, and the goal is to, you know, really bolster like the local music scene because um, as I was, I was doing an interview uh, on Tuesday, I think. And one of the main things I really talked about is like people forget that there's original music here, you right. know, like there's a lot of stuff released and, um, you know, there's, there's so much out there, but, you know, venues want, covers mostly and i think that's because that's what gets that's that's what gets people in seats at the end of the day it's about the bottom dollar which i understand but i think if you know each um band can really work to like um get their names out there however that looks like um then we'll then we'll all have as much as a draw as any cover band would right um so yeah it's just about you know local music and making our scene uh more basically friendly to artists so and and you speak from some experience there because i can see that like you're originally playing as a hundred percent cover band and now you're kind of migrating towards doing a a a release of uh, originals right absolutely because i mean the goal was always to do originals but you know when you look around for opportunities and stuff you know it's just you know if you if you say the name Paramore or you say the name Panic of the Disco, you're much lo- you're much more likely to get booked. Yeah, you know whether that's a paying show or not because I don't I think we've paid <laughs> more to play shows than we've actually made. I know, um, isn't that crazy? Doing shows, but um, and we put so much effort into it, and you know as as we kept going and like years were passing, I was I can't keep talking about I can't keep telling somebody else's story at this point. I gotta like get my art out there yeah. um so that's how that's kind of why we you know we made a bit of our you know just a small name for ourselves as a cover band but it's definitely time to move on to original stuff and to tell you know tell our story as opposed to whatever band we're play, you know we'd be playing yeah so and it's funny funny that we're having this part of the conversation because i was just chatting earlier this week uh with a friend of mine uh, he actually lives in the UK, but he travels around the world performing. He's um, he plays in a very niche style of music, so mm-hmm. you know that brings its own set of challenges too. Right. He, he was saying how the UK and the US. I'm originally from the UK, right? And UK and US are very, very similar. We have this kind of pay-to-play structure where yes. if you're not known, you end up spending a lot of your own money as a band trying to get into venues. Uh, so that you can build up your following so that then they start paying you, right? Which right. is completely backwards from the rest of Europe and some of the other countries that he tours in, where yeah. even as an unknown artist, you know, or an artist that's known but playing in one of these very niche genres like he is, like they're throwing money at you because they, they understand the arts in those countries so much better. And, and you know, they they want to encourage the arts to happen rather than what we're seeing which is a lot of venues closing down because Mm. the areas that those venues sit in get gentrified the rents go up the venues can no longer afford to you know turn a profit because they can't pay the rent and they're not getting enough people coming out to the venues anymore you know it's we kind of have a a a backward system both here and in the uk it seems and it's it's hurting the arts i think absolutely and you know it's as, as much as I enjoy the business side of everything and that's great, like it really takes the focus away from the music and the main thing should be 
the music, right? Like, yeah. I don't have, you know, we don't have a label that can like help us with all this stuff. Um, and, you know, not to mention we have jobs, you know? So, right. and it's a, like a lot of uh, artists have to start out that way because um, the, what is it? The like, no, no, like, nobody has the answers for us. Like there's no quick, like obviously there's no quick way to get to the entertainment industry, but there's so much like mystique behind the whole thing where like, you know, venues or kind of shadier people try to make it seem like, well, this is like, this is your way in. Like right. you pay us a thousand dollars to play the show and all of a sudden you're going to have a thousand, you know, a thousand followers and it's just, right. it's predatory. And yeah. I just, you know, the, like, like I said, the goal is to like, how can we as a community come together and kind of like fight that together? You know? Exactly. And that, that's why I, I saw your message and got excited because that's exactly what it's all about is, is people working with other people to create that community that supports one another. And that's, that's how scenes, you know, explode. Yes. It's, it's not, you know, the selfish concert promoter or venue that's, you know, out for themselves, just trying to, you know, take the money and, you know, get as many people in the door. And, you know, it's about creating a scene and creating a community and supporting one another. And mm -hmm. so that's awesome. I'm, I'm super excited. I was very excited when I saw your message. I'm excited to see how this evolves for you, which I'm confident it will, because I think when you have that right focus, Mm -hmm. I think doors fly open and amazing things come to you. So, yeah, it's insane how, like how great the response was. And I was honestly surprised like this wasn't something that was already being done. Like, you know, we've been, you know, I'm honestly, you know, in the grand scheme, I'm very new to this. I'm very new to music. I've been doing it for sub five years. Right. Um, but I was honestly surprised that like how quick the response, like people, I got 20 people ready to do interviews in two hours. Yeah. And it was just to a point where was, I honestly, like I want to make sure that I do this right for everybody. So, you know, I'll open whatever the queue is back up. And what's been great is, you know, some of my friends have offered to help me do the interviews and so it's becoming, it's already becoming a community effort, which is awesome. Right. And you can always do like, you know, a round two or phase two and a round Absolutely. Round three and yeah. This isn't something I plan to stop, um, you know. And, and as with any community, you know, hopefully as you talk to more people and get more people and your network grows, then more of those people will be willing to help out and say, hey, what can I do to help? Um, yeah. You know, which will take some of the burden off of you because, you know, obviously you still need to be able to create and do your art right. as well you don't want you know that to get uh yeah i mean i'm lucky you know i'm i'm pretty much t going this alone and in you know in the background my band is kind of working on that stuff and so it's great that you know like i said the, the community is already coming together and it's only going to get bigger and that's awesome so yeah, yeah. fantastic